Hi, everyone. Welcome to day 21 of Manifestation. Today, we're going to continue our talk on manifesting money. So here is a really fun exercise that may kind of um, take a little while for you to really mull over. It's called using karma to manifest what you desire. This is a really easy way to manifest money, <laughs> believe it or not. First of all, make sure you understand karma is not about tit for tat. It's not about in our last life together, you were mean to me. So in this life, I get payback and I get mean to, you know, I'm mean to you. That's like so awful. Karma is really about learning lessons. And your karma is really for yourself from yourself. Like if I'm an awful person in this life, when I die, if it was on my karmic path to be awful, it's clear because everyone I came in contact with were in agreement that that was my karmic destiny and they chose to come in and have an experience with an awful person. If I went off my path, like suppose I was supposed to be delightful and help everyone and instead I was awful and I harmed everyone, that means that I messed with their karmic paths and their soul contracts. When I die and see what I did, I'm going to feel terrible. And I'll tell you, the first thing that happens, I've seen this so many times when I read for people. The first thing that happens is all the souls of the people you harmed come and help you heal, right? But you created a mess for yourself that you're going to have to go and clean up at some point, right? You created unnecessary lessons. You created within, within yourself an imbalance. Think of it this way, like, if you're living healthfully and you're exercising every day and maybe you're dancing and like learning all these great dance moves, and then you spend a month where you're just like eating and lying around and being filthy, and then at the end of that month, you got to get back into shape. You have like gone out of shape. It's the same on a soul level. So karma is always about lessons in process and lessons learned. Our souls help each other for this. Help. We don't go and like get angry with each other unless it's a really broken situation, but don't even worry about that. That's more like, <laughs> like higher end stuff. Like that's the kind of stuff that we deal with on our paranormal revolution playlist here where Kim and I go and explore what happens when all the karmic lessons got broken and you have like ghosts and demons and stuff like that coming in. But for manifestation, we don't need to go there. So karma, remember, it's not just karma between you and another person. It's pretty much the majority of it is karma of self for self. So if you want something, there are so many people out there that karmically they need to give to help them release whatever they need to release and grow to wherever they need to grow. What you need to do is connect in with their karmic need and invite them to karmically grow through helping you. You don't even need to know these people. You don't have to talk to them. This is purely an energetic thing. There are a lot of people on our planet. Honestly, they're a little bit miserable because they have these karmic weights and distresses from like past lives hanging on them. And they really need to evolve from it so they can go forward with their life plan, with their destiny of becoming a pure soul. So you put out the energetic call. If you need to clear up your karma through helping others, you can help me and I will help you raise your karma by your helping me. I will accept your gifts so that your karma can grow. You're being very selfless here, actually, because karma is real. 
money is a figment of our imagination. By them working through the dream state of human life existence to give you something that isn't even real, they are gaining what is most important, karmic growth. Their soul is releasing weights so that their soul can become more joyous and pure. You are helping them by them giving you what you want and need or what you want. You don't even need it really because, uh, you know, if we're talking about karmic destiny, the whole reason we're here is to have experience. So again, your soul doesn't care if you have money or not. This is something you want for yourself. And um, so we release the word need and we get to, it would be fun to have a lot of money. And if there's anyone out there who needs to raise their karmic, you know, essence, you can do this, work out your karmic issues by helping me with something I want. You see? Okay. So let's try this little meditation. As always, we open ourselves up. We look into ourselves. If there's any anxiety, pressure, or distress, invite it to release for the period of time of this exercise or forever if you want. And invite in the joy in your heart. Look for the spark of joy that's somewhere in your body and invite it to fill your heart. The more joy you have in your heart, the bigger a beacon you will be sending out because karma comes straight to and from the heart, baby. So invite your spark of joy to fill your being and radiate from your heart. Oh, yeah. And invite your root chakra and your crown chakra to open wide so that this energy is flowing. Invite your auric essence, your etheric being to glow and spread out wide. And just invite the essence of love and joy to fill your being. As I said, the point of karma is to go through everything in life and find your way back to joy. So you are becoming the beacon of what all of these people suffering in the throes of past life karma are trying to find their way to be within themselves. Call out, you can call out out loud or in your mind, but definitely call with your heart. All who are carrying karma that is weighing you down, that you need to release so you can grow and find your way back to joy, I invite you as your beacon of joy and love to come and give to me gifts, money, support aid to help you release your burden so that you may raise yourself up as well to become joy and love and karmically light. Stay with us for a moment. Practice it. Beautiful. And again, practice this multiple times throughout each day. The more you practice, the quicker it becomes until you find you're just able to step into this beacon of joy scenario. 
and know that all karmic paths, let them know all karmic paths of you releasing your burden, invite them to lead towards money and success and joy for me. The more you help me, the more you are helping yourself to release and rise up. Now remember, for this to work, you may have some karmic issues of your own that maybe need to be acknowledged and released. Most of these are probably the imprint of lessons learned and complete that you're just still carrying the weight around. So look in yourself, release all your weights, release your karma so that you can be a shining beacon. It doesn't need to be a permanent release. You don't need to go in and do hard work. Just look in yourself and say, what do I have in me that's like below the frequency of joy and love? What do I have that's like blocking me? And you might see a memory rise up. When you were nine years old, you were mean to a child on a school bus. And you're like, oh my God, <laughs> I do not need to carry this around with me anymore. I wasn't even that mean. I just felt so guilty about it that that was the moment I realized I should never be mean to a kid. And then you let it say, what else is in there? Oh, do you remember that time when somebody like, it's going to be like imprints of old stuff, some of which you probably hadn't even thought about in years or warnings of, oh, you got burnt by love before. So be careful now. And you're like, yeah, you know what? I'm happily married, I can let that go. Or I would like to become in a relationship and this isn't going to help. Like you don't need to go in and do any deep psychological issues. Just go in, acknowledge and release. Acknowledge, you may thank it for having been with you because this was a lesson you needed to learn, but you no longer need to carry the reminder with you because you did the learning and now you've grown and release, 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 you'll find you become so much lighter. And the lighter you become, then when you become the beacon of love and joy and call out anyone else, you know what that imprint feels like. You know how good it feels to release, release. And what you're doing is giving an invitation to others to feel as good as you're feeling. It's a good deed you're doing. And in the process, they bring to you all the things that you want. You know, be it money, success, whatever. This is an excellent practice. I've done it many times myself. It works beautifully. The more you practice it, the easier it becomes. Have a wonderful day, everyone. And remember, subscribe to our YouTube channels, Bonita Woods and Your Core Shift because we are trying to manifest more subscribers so that we can do more fun stuff for you. Thank you. Bye.